Hi everybody, it's Karen with Happiness is Homemade. Hope y'all are having an awesome day. So I was tagged by Debbie at the Canadian Crotcheter to do the 2018 holiday tag, holiday traditions tag. Sorry, <laughs> forgive my appearance. It is a lazy uh, day today. <laughs> so anyway, there's 15 questions and I will answer those questions and tell you a little bit about uh, the traditions that my family and I do on the holidays. So, and uh, this was started by Melanie from Stitch to My Lou, and I like your podcast name, so I would keep it, personally. That's what I think. Anyway, moving on. Um, first one is, when do you start decorating for Christmas? So, we have Thanksgiving. And then the day after Thanksgiving that my husband has off. So whatever day off he has after Thanksgiving is when we usually put our Christmas up. Well, this year we had plans on his day off and we had plans to put Christmas up, but it got changed. So he, on Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, he pulled all the Christmas stuff out and uh, the kids and I did it, which is fine because he's not a big fan of putting Christmas up. So yes. Anyway, two, what style do you decorate in? Um, it's hard to say my style because <laughs> I just, I, I would say like classic Christmas maybe. I don't know. Because I have like hodgepodge Christmas stuff. Like as you can see I have like, you know, like ribbon and there's like ornaments from like when I was little and there's ornaments from that the kids made. There's certain ones that I've made. Just hodgepodge. So I, I, I don't know. Classic Christmas? Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, next one. Favorite Christmas tradition with the family? My favorite is to go to the Kris Kringle market with um, my mom and my grandmother and my kids. Uh, we used to go to the Kris Kringle market in the city, but that got to be a little too much for my grandmother and my mom and me with three children. <laughs> so thankfully enough, they have one now that they do in Naperville, which, which is not too far from here. So it's far, but it's not too far. Anyway, so yes. Um, we like to go there and it's a European Christmas market where they sell fresh gingerbread, different kind of candies. You can find any ornament you could ever want there. Um, they have different, I mean, it's just a whole bunch of different stuff. I'm sure if you Google it, you could, you could see it. So that is a tradition I really, really enjoy. Um, okay, number four, favorite place to buy Christmas decor? Um, well, usually I buy one ornament from the Kris Kringle market every year for my kids or my mom does. <laughs> you know, I don't know if something strikes me in the right way um, I'm a big fan of icicles, like, um, I'll show you one here. Maybe. There you go. Uh, like glass icicles. So, there is one of the icicles. I love those. Those are my favorite. Uh, but... <laughs> The other year, my grandmother actually gave me a whole bunch of her crystal ones. So I have those in my house. Those are my favorite. Um, so usually we'll buy something from there. Most definitely we'll buy uh, 
gingerbread, the fresh gingerbread that they have there. Um, but we usually buy one ornament there usually. Um, this year, I don't know if we're going to be able to make it there. Um, but if there was anywhere else, I would go, it would be Hobby Lobby. Just because usually they have all their stuff like 40% off or whatever. Like their holiday stuff. So that's where I would go. Um, okay. Next one. Favorite movie. Favorite Christmas movie. Um, I would have to say is... Christmas Story. My second being White Christmas. Every time it snows, <laughs> well, Christmas Story because we put it on, um, they have like repeat. It starts from like Christmas Eve at 12 o'clock. So which is Christmas Day, but like, you know, whatever. All the way until like 12 o'clock Christmas um, night, they play reruns of A Christmas Story. I want to say it's on AMC or TNT or something like that. They'll, they'll play it on loop. So I usually put that in the background and um, we open gifts and my husband and I, we have these chairs. I have two of these. There's this one, this one and another one that looks exactly like it. We sit have our cup of coffee, relax, enjoy, <laughs> let the kids tear up uh, the presents and everything like that. And then um, we just sit back and talk and watch the movie. And it's something that can be on we don't care about, you know, whatever. But my second is White Christmas because every time it snows, all of a sudden in my head it comes like, snow it won't be long before i'll be there with snow it's like always in my head whenever i see snow i'm like snow <laughs> i just love that song that and the sisters if you've seen that movie you know exactly what i'm talking about <laughs> okay so um and sorry for the singing yikes all right uh number six eggnog Hot cocoa or apple cider? Oh, yikes. Okay, I would say eggnog, but it has to be shaken up a lot. Put in a frosted glass with whipped cream. That is the best. I, I did it one year, and like now if I don't do that, I'm like, it's missing something. <laughs> I'm like, that, that is my uh, favorite. But I would say, I would add another one. I would say pumpkin spice. I love pumpkin spice. Um, I like pumpkin spice creamer added to my coffee. I'm not such a big pumpkin spice latte fan just because um, it's expensive. <laughs> it's expensive, but um, it's, it is still good. So I would add another one on there. I would put like pumpkin spice flavoring. I'm sorry. Hi, Oscar. Okay, next one. Uh, do you leave cookies out for Santa? If so, what kind? Uh, yes, we do. Last year we forgot. It's okay. Not a big deal. <laughs> um, this year we will. And um, usually I just ask the kids what kind they want. The last couple years, Grace automatically says strawberry. I don't. So what I do is make a klotchki and then I add some homemade strawberry jam on top and that's what we usually leave for Santa. Okay, uh, dee -dee. number eight, real or artificial tree? Um, I love real trees. First couple years, um, well, for like the longest time, I had a real tree. And when the kids were really, really, really little, I mean, they're little now, but you know, even when my son was um, super little, we got a real Christmas tree. We got 
a real Christmas tree and we would go out and um, saw it down and then um, bring it home, uh, decorate the tree and everything like that. And then I would even go to uh, Costco and buy the real garland that they had. I had a water bottle and I would spritz the tree and I would also like spritz the garland and everything like that so it wouldn't dry up or anything like that. It smelled amazing in the house. And when my son was really little, I got really sick and the girls got really sick and he was congested and sick and we just couldn't figure out every year we got really sick well I knew that I was allergic to Christmas trees and like evergreen and stuff like that like if I touch it on my skin it'll start to like bubble <laughs> make little dots and stuff like that and so we came to the realization that my children and I are allergic and so it would give us bad sinus infections. And so we had to change it to fake. And it breaks my heart so much because I loved the smell. I liked getting the tree, um, but it was okay. Um, I'd rather be healthy and enjoy the holidays and be sick and miserable, but still have a tree up that I can't smell because I have a <laughs> sinus infection. Okay, so that was a long, drawn out process, but whatever. Anyway, uh, nine, favorite holiday dessert. Hmm, I love pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie very much. I think that is my favorite holiday dessert. Now, if you were to ask my the rest of my family, I bet you they would say, well, my husband and his family, they would say a clear cake. Um, I made a clear cake the first year we went to Thanksgiving at his parents' house. And it was the first time his family, except his mom and dad, um, met me. And I was always taught never go empty handed. So I brought in a clear cake, which is like the easiest thing in the world to make. And ever since then, I am not allowed there unless I bring a clear cake. <laughs> That's a joke, but you know, it's his dad's favorite. Uh, so that is theirs probably is a clear cake. I only make it on the holidays. Um, otherwise it's played out way too much. So I do know how to make other stuff. It's just, they really enjoy that. Okay. Um, favorite Christmas cookie. Um, I would have to say are these little, like, I think they're called Mexican wedding cookies. Well, that's what um, my grandparents used to own a bakery and that's what they were called was Mexican wedding cookies. But I think they're called snowballs now. They're just rolled in um, <sighs> powdered sugar and it's like a nut cookie, like a cross between a nut and sugar cookie that's rolled in powdered sugar. And I don't know why, but I really, really love those. And they just like melt in your mouth and I haven't had them in a while and they actually sound really good. Uh, dee, dee, dee. Cookie. Oh, do you open gifts on Christmas Eve? Yes, we do. Actually, this is so here. Here is my uh, Christmas. Okay. Uh, Christmas Eve is spent with my um, mother and that side of the family like so um, I hate saying that because you know I feel like I have a big huge family but to like decipher between the groups kind of thing does that make any sense um, so my mom's side of the family we go over um, to my brother's house and we celebrate Christmas there with my grandmother and my uncle and my mom and my nieces and nephews 
and we open gifts there. Then we come home, Christmas morning, we wake up, we spend Christmas morning here at our home. And then around probably two or three, we go over to my husband's parents' house where we have Christmas with that side of the family. So yes, Christmas is awesome that way because we get to enjoy both families and we've been having Christmas with my Christmas Eve with my mom for a long time because um, my mom and dad are divorced so usually um, I so I have two brothers and me <laughs> okay so when Christmas would come around we would usually be traveling to my father's house so what we would do is Christmas Eve we would spend with my mother and then either Christmas Day or Christmas or the day after Christmas we would be flying out to go uh, travel to see my dad so uh, we always spent Christmas Eve with my mom and uh, it's ended up working out really awesome and I wouldn't know what to do with myself if I didn't have Christmas Eve with my mom. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's very special to me. I, I feel like uh, Christmas Eve is Christmas. Um, anyway, so uh, there's that. Uh, do you decorate the tree yourself? Usually, yes. <laughs> I usually let the kids put up, like, a couple of ornaments, and then I take over because I'm crazy like that and so just people know just to back away and just let mom do it um, but this year I was I just was like whatever I unwrapped it for the kids and the kids did it themselves I actually included some pictures of them putting uh, the ornaments on themselves and then it came to the icicles and it was so funny Grace was like mom it's time to put your icicles up. And like, they like backed away from the tree and knew to just walk away. <laughs> Cause it's like very special to me. Um, because they're my grandmother's icicles. So yes. So then I, um, put them up on the tree. And so that, that is what I did. And then, you know, I like moved, moved around a couple, but they did the tree 90%, um, themselves. Okay, I'm already 18 minutes in, so yikes, sorry. Anyway, but uh, they did it this year, so. Uh, where do you spend Christmas Day? Like I just said, we spend it here with my kids and my husband. We open gifts, we eat some breakfast, and then uh, we get in the car, head over to his parents, and we spend Christmas with them. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. favorite Christmas smell. Uh, okay, so I'm like super sensitive with smells. I get migraines very easily. Weird thing. Um, a couple of years ago, my daughter's preschool was holding like a um, Yankee candle where you buy so much and then you you know whatever. Um, so I bought this one smell. Uh, that was uh, clove and cedar. Was it cedar? I can't think of it. It was like a pine smell and and clove mixed. So it was almost like you were like you had a real tree in your house and you were baking something because of the clove. So and it was not over powerful or anything like that and i'm gonna remember the the name of what it's called as soon as i'm done i'm sure anyway so um i love that i love like um cinnamon as long as it's not too strong and like clove that kind of like baking smell but not like christmas cookie um like fake christmas cookie smell that will like send me into a migraine <laughs> but um yes so clove I would say clove and 
What was that? It was like Fraser fur and clove or something like that. I don't know. If I remember, I'll put it across the street. Anyway, moving on. Uh, okay. What is your favorite thing to craft or make during the holidays? Okay. Well, um, last year I made every one of Grace's teachers or like helpers or whatever. I made them little Christmas bells. Um, I wouldn't say Christmas bells. It was just like a little bell that I crocheted up and, um, I got the tutorial from Jaden Stitches. I'll link it below. And um, I made a whole bunch for like any presents that I brought to um, the houses. I crocheted up and put on there. And um, even the bottle of wine that I brought to my mother-in-law's house, I put, um, I tied a pair on that. And it was just something special that I made. So I would say any Christmas gifts, I, I like doing that. It makes me uh, feel good uh, to be like, oh, look, I made this. But uh, something that uh, the kids and I make, that's Oscar. <laughs> but, watch out, buddy. Um, right by the Christmas tree. Ooh, watch out, buddy. Sit down, Bo. Sit down, sweetie. This is his area that he likes to sleep in. And I am totally in his area right next to the Christmas tree. Okay, so I better wrap this up. Anyway, um, the kids and I like to make uh, cinnamon ornaments. And again, I put clove in that. And I also put, <laughs> if you see fluff, that's Oscar. Um, I put a little bit of pumpkin spice in there too. And... Um, we make the cinnamon ornaments and I tie those and the Christmas bells on that. I don't know if that's what I'm going to do this year, but, uh-oh. What are you? I'm making a video. You want to come sit with me? I'm almost done. You okay? Why are you using that? Because I don't know where you put my thingy. The back scratcher. I don't know where you put it. Go sit down. Here, come sit here. Are you? No, don't touch it. Are you using that? No, don't touch it. You want to come say hi? Why are you doing this? Christmas bells. Okay, sorry. I'm being interrupted. <laughs> the suckers didn't last that long. So, <laughs> like, give them suckers and something to play with for a little bit so I could make this video. It's been a little crazy. Anyway, oh my gosh, 23 minutes. Yikes. Anyway, um, usually I make cinnamon ornaments and they take a while to dry out and stuff like that. But um, here's actually one I made one year. It's really cute and it still smells like cinnamon and it smells pretty. Um, so I like to tie those on gifts too, like a, um, not like a gift tag, but like, um, what do you want to call those? I don't know. Add on, just add them on to the gifts. Anyway, so yes. Um, so that was, uh, my holiday, 2018 holiday tag. And I am going to tag Summer from Summer Tips and Stitches, Kim at the Crafty Nomad podcast, and um, I will link their channels below. And if you feel like you want to do the tag too, um, just let me know below. So um, anyone that's writing a comment can see that you're doing it, and they'll go and check your video out too. So, uh, yes. So I hope you all enjoyed that. I hope you all are having an awesome, uh, you all had a awesome Thanksgiving and you're having a nice holiday, whatever it is. And yes, I will see you soon. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you bye so bye. much to my new subscribers and thank you to the subscribers who have been with me uh, already. So, uh, thank you so much. Happy holidays. Yeah, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.
Happy Halloween. <laughs> okay.